Okay, so now that we've talked about these two transitions, what I want to do is have you just explore all the transitions that are available to you. And I've slowed the transition duration down to three seconds so we can really take a look and see what these transitions are doing. You can do the same thing as well. And once again, go to the setup menu to do that. But you can take a look at all of the transitions available. Um, there are just a ton of them. These are 3D transitions that actually do a page roll. There's some that do stars and broken glass and, and all kinds of things like that. The one thing you want to do is be cautious of using overly fancy uh, transitions and things like that because what happens is they just become a distraction. So some of them are cool. Some of them, you know, they all have their place. But, you know, you want to just use them as sparingly as possible. But I do encourage you to explore and um, you know have fun with it a little bit. Um, I would I would probably stick to maybe one or two different transitions and not try and mix them all up and and uh, create something too crazy. So anyway, take a look and all of them are available right here. As you click one each one, you're going to get a brand new menu of uh, different transitions that are available. If you want to get more transitions, if uh, you know that what they have right here is just not enough then you can go and hit new um, sorry more transitions and you can purchase more from pinnacle i think they have a transition pack that you can use as well so um, anyway that's transitions